you can still put those hands to Jesus come on y'all go ahead go ahead go ahead and give him praise oh, give him praise give him praise don't get tired now don't get tired Hallelujah. Come on, praise him, 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 praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Break every chain. Chains of stagnations are broken. Hallelujah. Let them pray. Let them pray. Oh, let them break, Lord. They are broken. From the crown of my head to the sole of my feet. Broken, break every chain. Break, 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 Lord, break, break, Lord, break, break, Lord, break, break, Lord, break, 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 Lord, break, break, Lord, break, break, Lord, break, 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 Lord, break, break, Lord, break, break, Lord, break, break, your house right now just stand up on your feet and give him praise give him praise give him praise Jesus your name Lord is a strong tongue and even the righteous they run into it and they Praise Lord Jesus. I give you praise, Lord Jesus. Give you praise, Lord Jesus. For we exalt you, Lord, above our mountains. Ah, sin and amo shata gida mo shada da 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 ba ya da da. You are great. You are great. Lord, you are great. You are great. Hallelujah. Ah, say hallelujah. Come on, God. Say hallelujah. Say hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Give you all the praise. Give you all the glory. Praise be unto your name, O oh Lord Jesus. In the morning and in the noon day Lord we praise you, 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 we praise you.
Shabalagade. Hey, thank you, Holy Spirit, Lord. Good God Almighty, praise you, Lord, in the morning. Praise you, Lord, in the noonday. Praise you, Lord, in the night, in my night hours. I praise you. I praise you, Lord. I praise you. I praise you, Lord. I praise you. Hey, 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 hey. Shake the tabala, don't see the tabala, don't see the tabala. For they could not cross them. went up to the mountains they could not cross them so because the shout of the king is in their midst ah, I don't know who I'm talking to this day but I decree that the shout of the king will be upon you it will be in your midst it will accompany you wherever thou goest the shout of the king that will rebuke illness that will rebuke that will cause violences to die. May it be amongst you. Somebody shall fire. Hallelujah. Who is it that say the thing and it coming to pass? When the A Elion has not commanded it, flow. If you can speak in tongues, pray in tongues, just go ahead and pray in other tongues right now. Let's pray in other tongues. I, I can feel the atmosphere is changed for somebody. Uh, I can hear the Lord say to me, I'm changing situations right now. Mm. I hear the Lord say the chains are broken. Ah, yet broski da balada bocha. He said, because you have praised me this day, I will oppress your enemies. I will subdue your foes. I will break access for chains. I will break chains from families. I will break yokes. I will break powers. I will bring them. Holy Spirit, 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 Holy Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, for the last time, break every chain, every chain, every chain. Come on, put those hands to him that sits on the thrones of Jasper. Give him praise. Give God praise. Glory, 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 glory to his name. Ah. He is the impossibility specialist. <laughs> Only him alone is worthy. Only him alone is worthy of our praise. Somebody just lay your hands on your head right now and start prophesying to yourself. 
Come on, say something good at least for yourself. Lay your hands on your head and speak light. Speak greatness and speak breakthroughs. For thus said the Lord of hosts, as you speak in my ears, so shall I do for you. Only believe, prophesy, decree, 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 decree. He said, whatsoever you shall decree here on earth, he said it shall be established before my thrones in heaven Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. Have your seats. Have your seats, Jesus. Holy. Ah, 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 ah. Na 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 boshi kuparos. Holy Spirit, Lord. I bow before you, O oh Lord Jesus. I kneel before your presence, Elohim. As I humble myself, O oh Lord, before you. You know it, man. You know it, man. You're not gone and all put stars. No man can show. No one like you No one like you Jesus No one like you No one like you Alandewura No one like you Ah You're the God of heaven God of everything, hey, God of everything, and I'm also say you're the God of everything. Of everything, no one, like no one like you. No one na 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 mali. Suna da balado shata na 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 na. Ah, kusi de brodo da bo shuna na na balos. You are him that sticks closer than a brother. That friend that sticks goes close than a brother. You are the God of the mountains. You are the God of the valley. 
you are the God in the place of difficulties and the God of the place of blessings you reign in all you are the one that rides on the wings of the raging storms Holy Spirit, Lord, give me praise. Ira do shata barada kush. Silence everywhere. Saturate this house, Lord. Purify our minds. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Blessed be your name, Lord. You are God from beginning to the end. There's no place for arguments. You are God all by yourself. You are God from beginning to the end. There's no place. You are God by yourself. You are God from beginning to the end. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. You are God all by yourself. Please help me praise this God. 
help me give him thanks help me come on come on somebody somebody help me praise him help me put those hands together put those hands together put those hands together for him the victory is won praise god the battle is over just thank him i help hear me hear me hear me while i was here I felt the touch of the Holy Spirit on my back. He says, son, the battle is won. Yeah. And he said, tell the people, victory has taken place. Yeah. In this season, you will never be a victim. You will be a victor in Christ. You will not be evicted, but you will be a victorious person. Your name is changed from victim to victor. Said the Lord of hosts, so loud and so clear, for I hear him say to me, he says, son, great things will begin to happen. He said the doors have been opened. He said, you have prayed your way and praised your way as a church. Today, the flood of the gates of heaven, the water of life, the baptism of another level. He said, I have released upon you. He said, is broken the veil has been removed woe be thou any man that will seek to put you in bondage again woe be thou any woman that seek to entangle you again woe be thou any boy or girl uncle auntie brother sister hey that seek to entangle you in bondage again Whoa, be down that person. Are you there? I got a few minutes to drop something to us. God praise you. God God bless you greatly great the praise team hallelujah jam those hands together for them there is only one way to get a prophet to manifest and that is true praise there is only one way to get God to come down himself and that is true praise the Bible says he, he inhabits the praises of his people. He himself, God himself, inhabits, which means he steps into your praise and starts residing there. Not angels, God himself. That's why nothing stands an anointed praise even as you are in your house lock up the doors turn off your cell phones and turn off your TV you have been praying all this while now praise through when you praise through you will press through ah you didn't hear that so when you praise through you will press through in this life everything is seeking to oppress you so you have to learn to push back first timothy chapter 6 verse 12 first timothy chapter 6 verse 12 you have your bibles with you and you have your notes lift up your bible up say this is my bible it is a word of god inside of this word is written 
my destiny inside of this world everything that is about me is written in this world this is my compacts when I'm confused and broken this is my antidote in the name of Jesus I claim this written word for myself for my family for my brother from my sister in Jesus name Amen. hallelujah you know when you get too used to not going to church with Bible it is a major challenge Sham I didn't call your name praise God first Timothy chapter 6 verse number 12 fight the bad fight of faith am I correct look at the scriptures fight the bad fight of faith okay I'm glad I still have some Bible students in the house fight the good fight of faith faith is a good fight stubborn faith is worst a good fight you know you know there are some persons their faith is stubborn like the woman with the issue of blood you see you may think that what you are going through is to destroy you know god is not looking at delivering you outside your circumstances no he will use that same circumstances the enemy has created to make room for you the woman with the issue of blood for 30 something years bleeding releasing some oozing blood to the extent that when she came out to touch the hem of she said if i but touch the hem of his garment i believe i will be made whole faith a situation at that point make people to tell a woman you are smelling in the community when she goes into a washroom and come out nobody wants to go in there when she comes to the grocery store to buy things everybody waits outside for her and the owner of the grocery will definitely the owner of the grocery store would definitely have some marks to cover their nose because of the smell that oozes out from her body. But one day, somebody say one day, one day. there is always a day. There is always a day. And I have this faith in me and I love it so much and I'm happy that there is always a day. Weeping may endure but for a moment joy certainly one day we come in the morning fight the good fight of faith don't give up while she was approaching Jesus her situation was making way for her everybody was saying Mm, you're smelling as they say mm, you're smelling they clear the way for her she's moving you remember that there, are, there were a crowd of people that were pressing on jesus everybody were dragging his body but this woman came her situation became a presidential road clearer for her may your situation make room for you that amen is poor may god use that same trouble you are having today to bring about testimony in your life in the name of jesus she kept on moving and calculatively moving without stopping woman why are you here you are not supposed to be in this conference she wasn't listening yet she kept moving yet she kept pushing in life if you must fight a good fight of faith you must learn to block your ears to what people say 
lock up your ears because if you follow what people say people will always say something there are words you give ears to what people are saying so much it's like you poking your eardrums it will bleed and it will pain you so much so sanitize what you hear filter what you hear because everything that talks about your failure and victory comes from what you hear faith comment by what fear comment by what faith fear the two comes by hearing so then faith fight a good fight of faith lay hold on eternal life we are unto thou art also called and has professed a good not bad profession before many witnesses don't be a confessional person that confessed negativity oh i don't know what is wrong with my life what is wrong with what god created I don't know why my situation is so bad. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, your situation is so bad. You use your words to create your life and your aeon. Everything is formed by the words you speak. I've told you before that you are made in the express image of God. God is careful of what he says. That's why he said we should hold him to his word. You ought to be careful with what you say too because satan will hold you to it Amen. you will be held accountable the bible said something in the book of proverbs chapter 4 verse 18 it said the path of the just is like a shining light which shine brighter and brighter even unto the perfect day there is a day called perfect day but you must first walk in the light of god for you to experience consistent shining you must be a believer with faith not fake no dream i tell you can be achieved without faith life is supposed to be a dynamic not a static it's supposed to be dynamic not static matthew 11 verse 12 i pray for you today that your life will be dynamic Amen. and from the days of john the baptist until now somebody say now the kingdom of heaven suffered violence said only the violent take it by force anything that has refused to give way force it with faith apply press on it press you know when you say you want to choke somebody choke the situation with faith hold the neck press the living life out of it it will go your faith determines how far you go where you give up is where your faith ends <laughs> may you never give up in the name of jesus no dream can become a reality without faith be it unto you according to your faith not god's faith matthew 9 29 God don't need faith. It is you and I that needs faith. They touched their eyes saying, according to your word, be it unto you. Child of God, the season we are right now is not a season for you to fake it. Fakers fade away. <laughs> Fakers see reality. 
and they eat of the fruits of their labor. Don't fake it. Faith it. Faith is the vehicle that boosts you. It is because of faith that you believe and you know that coronavirus cannot come close to your DNA. Amen. Then touched he their eyes, saying, That's why I tell you that healing is not just a man of God praying for you and you become healed. No, your faith is needed. The prayer of the saints and your faith is needed. If your faith says yes, God cannot say no. Faith is the currency that applies, that when it applies in heaven, it makes everything you need come to you. Many of us are where we are today, not because of our intellectual abilities, but we are where we are today because we came to a point when we saw situations telling us that we can't push through but we had faith and we forced our way in even in the midst of some say no you can't get married you forced your way in by faith you say lord in the name of jesus i will go through even in the midst of many saying that you can't get done that program you forced your way in by faith so you have to apply a sense of violent faith a sense of violent faith to achieve the abnormal achievements for you to get an unusual re result you have to act and operate in an unusual way when you operate the same way you get the same results but when you operate in an unusual way, you get unusual testimonies and unusual results. Galatians 6, 7 said something. He said, do not be deceived for God is not mocked. Whatsoever a man soweth, so also shall he reap. When you sow stubborn faith, you will break stubborn situations. You will break down stubborn mountains. You will destroy stubborn activities in your life. Why? Because you have applied stubborn faith. Have faith. And you will move mountains. Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 4. The just shall live by his faith Habakkuk 2 verse 4 the just even when the part of the just is like a shining light but that just need faith <laughs> behold his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him but the just shall live by his faith the just shall live by his faith the just shall live by his faith if you don't have faith you're in trouble what is making you stand strong today as a believer and with the whole commotions happening here and there you are not moving is faith faith is not you seeing the results faith is you moving even without you seeing the results you believe in the conclusive end of it that it will favor you. That is faith. Amen. My definition. Somebody say, I hear, I hear you. Faith is the backbone of Christianity. When faith is no longer applied in Christianity, then it is just a gathering of community men and women coming together to read a particular book and be gone. Religiosity. Am I communicating? When faith is not involved, spirituality is gone. Faith is the potent force that when applied, you get a result from the omnipotent and omniscience. Faith is the potent force that when applied, you get get result from the omnipotent and omniscience God. 
all you need in this life is faith by faith you can call those things that are not as though they were deep call it unto deep only by faith that's why you cannot understand a man that is in the spirit from the flesh you two of you will have misunderstanding <laughs> praise god that's why you can be in church and pastor is preaching because you are in flesh because you can be in church you think when you come inside this building it simply means that flesh is gone no there are people in the church the message is going on right now their flesh is ministering to them another thing like i am speaking what i'm speaking they are hearing another interpretation to it that is why you can be having good message coming from the pulpit like this yet some are offended so you need faith to receive the word of god you need faith for everything you need faith to rise up every morning you need faith translated to the steadfastness of the lord he said they are renewed every morning your faith must be applied in every aspect of your life both spiritually and physically everything you do even the food you must eat you believe god for it faith is applied how strong can my faith be pastor your faith should be strong as much as this if i look at you now and call you a man and you're a woman you will say no you know why because you know that you're a woman if you call me a woman it is not possible because i know i am a man so your faith must not be something from some other person's aspect your faith must be from your own aspect that is where faith start working somebody say amen. amen faith determines the events of your life mark eleven twenty three. the faith you have determines how things go which way do we go praise god for verily i say unto you that whosoever shall say on this mountain be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea and shall not doubt in his heart but shall believe that those things which he said shall do what shall come to pass he shall what he shall what he shall what do you need anything extra no whatsoever if you believe in your heart you will have it i'll teach you something today what you believe is what your spirit man has been able to see if your spirit man can't see it it's just a mere fiction in your heart how does your spirit man see as you are your eyes are open but when you close your eyes you could move from here now to a big cathedral your spirit man is receiving something some of you before you bought the car you have right now each time you want to sleep that time you just want to take your nap as you close your eye don't you see yourself in that car i'm teaching you very simple you don't need see you don't need to be a pastor to operate in faith dynamics as many that believe he has given them the power to become sons and daughters of god so you have the god given ability and power to move from here and teleport in your spirit man to where you want to be in the next one year you look at it very well you like it you come back you now start what speaking it to existence believers don't know how powerful they are that's why we are struggling because we don't know this is what is obtainable in the realm of the spirit just meditate see let me tell you study leads to meditation 
meditation leads to revelation revelation carries you into revolution and revolution arrives you at the place of change when you study you become one that is in search of something and when you receive that thing it becomes a revelation and the revelation you have received will make you come to light you say hold on a second this is like this you know what's happening and when you come to that light you you tell yourself and say no this thing must change a real a revolutionary mindset has entered you at that point and you start moving with a strong force the force of faith believing that you must achieve that may you have a revolutionary mindset that amen is not strong enough faith is the vehicle that carries you without any disturbance and the driver of faith is the holy spirit Amen. you get in just say where you want to go and it arrives you there you are sure guaranteed there will be no crash <laughs> somebody said to me pastor don't you think that you should reserve some of your tough messages so that when the church becomes very big you will bring these bullets out i say no as the lord gives to me he is giving to me because of the people presently now when the big time comes we will still preach what god wants us to preach but we must receive the message for the now there is a message that is called the word for the now So I'm not moved by crowd. If I come to church and there's only one person, I will preach what I will preach to 200 persons to that one person. And you know what I've done? I've given that person 200 lightning bolts inside of them. If they have faith, they will move here and just only look at that door, the door will explode and they will walk through. So what you're receiving now is a capacity of one million people sharing. And you're carrying these votes inside of you. You're receiving this mighty thing. Don't joke with it. Are you there? Yes, Hebrews 11 verse 1. Hebrews 11 verse 1. Let me show you something. It is faith in God that provokes testimony faith in god provokes testimonies now faith is the substance of things hoped for faith is not oh i'm having faith why you you already have it like you already have a car and you tell somebody oh i'm just having faith i'm believing god for a car you already have a car that's not faith you already have it faith is you things hoped for you are hoping you've not gotten it he said the evidence of things not seen the evidence is not even anywhere around you the prophecy came you shall be a millionaire you shall walk on money the prophecy came you will serve god in this season with great power and great manifestations of divinity sister bro where is the evidence the problem with us is that we are carried away by in by searching for the evidence pastor but you prophesied you think that will stop me from saying more? i will say more heap it on your head any day you wake up it will start coming to pass for you so you said the problem you have been in search of evidence pastor said god told him 
that I am going to be rich. So, where is the evidence? I checked my bank account the other day, I only saw $100. In fact, when Pastor didn't even prophesy about me being rich, I was having money in my account. But immediately that prophecy came. Things have not been good. Faithless generation. Have you ever seen a seed that is planted and immediately you just plant it, it germinates immediately? Can a grain of corn fall to the ground without dying and produce? Learn to die. Learn to die. There are many people that will tell you that they have died many times, so dying is nothing to them. They are dead to their flesh. Learn to allow your seed to die. Stop choking the seed with looking for evidence. God is not a master of trade by butter. Even though the Bible says, give and it shall be given unto you. That's not trade by butter. Some of us, that's what we do. Give God. You start watching the hand of God. Uh-uh. I'm not seeing, I gave a grain of corn, yes. But I'm not seeing the whole corn coming back to me. I'm not seeing the field of corn. And every morning, this is what you do. Because your mind is on that seed you have sown. This is what happens in the realm of the spirit. You are going back to it. Uprooting that seed, digging it out. Looking at it put it again cover it the next day you go back again bring it out so when you do that way please help me can that seed ever die to germinate your problem must not be bigger than your god faith is powerful Faith is the unseen weapon of war that even the devil is demystified by your faith. He's perplexed by your faith. Praise God. Put back that scripture, Hebrews 11 verse 1. He said, now faith is the substance of things you are hoping for. Right? We are all hoping for something. As our faces are different, so our heart desires are. We are hoping for something. Praise God. But he said the evidence of things not seen. How can you match it? Stop looking for evidence. Even though your name is Providence, stop looking for evidence. Don't, 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 don't be like people from the tribe of Thomas. The doubters that doubt even God that created them. You've seen Jesus cause food to be, to, to be so much and fed 5,000 people, excluding women and children. And yet, he told you he has resurrected. You say, no. You have to put your hand, your finger, stick your finger through the holes of his hand. Doubters. Everyone that doubted God in the wilderness, that generation never made it to the promised land. It is too expensive to doubt God. In fact, it's a crime as a believer for you to doubt God. The only antidote to doubt is carry your testimonies of yesterday. Push it in front today. That will give you courage. The song writer said, because he lives, I can face tomorrow. You say, because he lives, I can face tomorrow. So because God lives, your tomorrow is guaranteed and assured. Don't allow yourself to fall as a victim. Praise God. Are you there? Faith draws from the omnipotence of God. Without faith, your future has no substance. Faith is what gives you weight to become a heavyweight. Did you hear that? Faith
faith guarantees you weight. Not physical weight. Though. To become a heavy weight in the realm of the spirit. You could be as slim as I am. But in the realm of the spirit, 500 persons cannot jack you up. They can't lift you. Because you are heavy weight in the realm of the spirit. Just one of your shoes. <laughs> one of those days I was praying for this guy. The demon inside of him was so violent. That the men could not hold him. And I said to them, put him down. They put him down. I said, I will teach you a lesson today. He was really, I just took my mic and kept on his chest. And that was it. He couldn't get up. Fate. Somebody say faith. When you have faith, mountains will move. You will be troubled, yes. But you believe God that he that started this good work will definitely finish it. Can I hear your amen? amen. Faith is putting God's word to work as to commit his integrity to perform it. Faith is putting God's word to work as to commit his integrity to perform it. Numbers 23 verse 19. The book of Numbers 23 verse 19. God is not a man. God is not your age mate. God is not your uncle. God is not your earthly father. God is not your aunt or your elder brother. Hello? That he should lie. All these people, they can, they have the ability. Man has the ability to tell lies. Praise God. Man has the ability to say things and he will not do it. Neither the son of man that he should repent. Had he said, another thing you must give attention to, has God said, not man said. Has he said, and shall he not do it? It's a question to you. You, you be the one to answer it. Or has he spoken and shall he not make it good? For God is not a man that he should lie. So it's you carrying the word of God and putting it before your face as to commit God to his integrity. To perform that that he has said concerning you. Stop disturbing pastor's number. Say pastor that prophecy has not yet come to pass. Ta, go and sit down and pray. Carry the word and put before God. Commit it to him. Some of, sometimes we forget that pastors are not magicians. They are messengers. I'm a messenger of God. If I hear him I will speak. And if you think that you're not seeing that thing that I have said that he told me to say, go to him and say to him, please, God, bring your word to pass. You are committed to it and your integrity is at stake. People don't sit down with prophecy. You get up and war with prophecy. Somebody say amen. amen. No dream can become a reality without faith. Your dream delivers at the level of your faith. Where your faith is, is where your dream will stop. Every dream remains a burden until faith comes alive. Rise up to your feet. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Every dream becomes a burden until faith comes alive. Cast your bodies on me for I care. Faith has to come alive. Hallelujah. Lift up those hands and start thanking God for your faith level. In the name of Jesus, Lord, let my faith become alive. Come on, pray that prayer. Pray that prayer. Pray that prayer. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Let faith in me come alive. In the name of Jesus, I conquer mountains. I limp over walls. I run over troops by faith. In the name of Jesus, I take back what belongs to me by faith. I take back my possession by faith. I conquer.
conquer every mountain and I conquer every ground by faith in the name of Jesus Christ. Father Lord, I thank you. Be it unto us according to our faith. Lord, as we increase our faith level this season, I decree that your manifold grace and power be upon us. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. And amen. Jump those hands together with the Lord as you take your seats.